The effect of stimulants on dactylus glomerata by me. Rational Literature Review. Most stimulants used for treating ADHD contain methylphenidate and amphetamine. These two drugs are CNS stimulants. Another drug, caffeine, is also a CNS stimulant. It causes stunted growth when tested on mungines. Determining if CNS stimulants cause stunted growth will help doctors determine the best medication for children with ADHD, as there could be a correlation between stunted growth in plants and humans. If doctors are aware that these medications are stunting the growth of children, it might deter them from, from prescribing these drugs. Question and hypothesis. Central nervous system stimulants that are used to treat ADHD may cause stunted growth. If caffeine is applied to dactylus glomerata, then the plant will grow shorter than the control group because most central nervous system stimulants cause stunted growth, and caffeine is a central nervous system stimulant. Caffeine has been shown to affect the individual cells in eukaryotes, and since plants and animals are eukaryotes, this has led to the belief that caffeine affects them the same. Methodology Part 1. To conduct this experiment, the researcher received a seed sprouting tray with 40 cells. The researcher filled half of these with 500 milliliters of miracle Girl potting mix in total. The researcher then placed five dactylus glomerata seeds in each pot of soil, one centimeter deep and apart. Each cell was then labeled 1A through 5D with color-coded post-it notes and a pencil from top to bottom. Methodology Part 2. The researcher then measured 500 milliliters of bottled water and poured 100 milliliters into each pot labeled 1A through 5A. The researcher then repeated the step with every other letter set, adding 25 more milligrams of caffeine into the 500 milliliters of water each time. The researcher repeated the step every day for a month. At 11.45 each day, the researcher measured the height of the plants with a ruler and recorded it in a spreadsheet. Data and data analysis. Results show that dactylus glomerata plants 1A through 5A control group have below average to average growth and that growth scales with the amount of caffeine. On day 11, 24, 2020, the average height of A plants was 16.6 centimeters, equal to that of C plants and 0.6 centimeters greater than B and D plants. On the last day, 12, 1, 2020, A plants had an average height of 17 centimeters, B 17.2 centimeters, which is lowered by LR1. B, C, 19 centimeters, and D, 18.6 centimeters, slightly lowered by LR2D. By the last day, the growth was slowed by about 0.2 centimeters per day, and the plants were developing a V shape. Conclusion The results show that caffeine does not stunt the growth of dactylus glomerata, thus disproving the hypothesis. Further study should be conducted with different plants and CNS stimulants to reach a definite conclusion. On the final day of testing, the average height of plants labeled 1A through 5A was 17 centimeters, the average height of plants 1B through 5B was 17.2 centimeters, the average height of plants 1C through 5C was 19 centimeters, and the average height of plants 1D through 5D was 18.6 centimeters. These were the these results suggest that caffeine acts as a weak fertilizer, though more studies are needed. Obstacles, limitations, and assumptions. The researcher assumes that the seeds are healthy upon purchase and that each sprout receives the same amount of sunlight. A limitation the researcher faced is that the researcher cannot use ADHD medication because of its availability, so the researcher used caffeine, another central nervous system stimulant. Another limitation that the researcher faced is that they ran out of caffeine on 11-19-2020. Future studies. Future studies could be conducted with different central nervous system stimulants to confirm that they do not stunt growth. These central nervous system stimulants should be tested on dactylus glomerata to compare their effects.